The purpose of this video is to show some casts and mends in a fishing situation as opposed to just casting and here I want my cast to lay out straight. I want my fly to swim immediately and I want to swing the fly slow. In this situation, I'm in a super fishy spot, obviously, and so I'm going to take every precaution to fish it correctly, and that means casts that land reasonably straight, and then men's, that was a little bit too big of a mend, but I want a cast that lands straight, and that time there was kind of a an air mend a little bit because I didn't really have to mend. I just stuck out my rod tip before it landed. This is about how I fish. There's a crooked cast and then there's a big mend to fix that. That's not ideal, but that's just how I did it. And in this situation, I'm using a peri poke. Try to get a reasonably straight cast. Pop a big man in there to straighten everything out. I want everything straight and my rod tip is far out and over as I can get it so I can straighten out my shooting line. I've got a 500 grain Skagit Short, Rio Skagit Short, 10 feet of T14 and a lead-eyed Oh, it's kind of a just a lead-eyed flash fly. I'm just trying to get it to swing slow and straight and deep through this tail out here. So in this case, I'm going to single spay it out, try to get a fairly straight cast, throw a big mend, and apparently I've decided to walk down a step or two with the idea of maybe getting it steeper. I don't really know what I was thinking. It's, but anyway, this is just kind of how I did it for whatever reason. I want my, I don't want a big bow in my line, that's for sure. I want it to get deep. And I want to steer it through. I'm following it with my rod tip. I started way out to the side. My rod tip towards the middle of the river. And then slowly swing through the tail out. And right there you saw I, I mended towards the shore. To get to steer that shooting head towards the bank. There's a straight cast. And no, no real reason to mend. Nice straight line. Swinging very slowly. Everything straightened out. Single spay. Fairly straight cast. Men to straighten it out. And then I'm going to swing it through as slow as I can. The rod tip is out in the middle of the river. At first, and then I just move it along to keep it above the line. And move it nice and slow. Keeping everything straight. All the way to the bank if it looks, looks if it's not too, if it's not too, uh, if it'll fish to, towards a bank. That was a little bit of a funky cast, but it's going to swing okay. In this particular run, I really would have preferred T11, I think. It's a little bit too heavy of a tip, only because I hung up a few times. There's a reasonably straight cast, but I was kind of hanging up right at the edge of the bank and right at the edge. It all looked pretty fishy, but there's another big man to keep everything straight. And I keep my rod tip out towards the middle of the river and just swing my rod tip real slow. 
and I switch hands. And if I'm too far out in the middle and I want the fly to swing, I'll do that and steer that back end of the shooting head towards the bank so it'll swing all the way to the bank. There's a straight cast. Laid out straight, it's, it's fishing pretty quick. Probably could have mended a little earlier. I let it dig in a little bit, I guess, was my reasoning. I don't know what I was thinking. Here's another Perry poke. Fairly straight, big mend. I would have, should have thrown a big mend in there to get that back end up and around like that. Rod tip stays pointed towards the opposite bank. Everything straight as possible between my rod tip and the fly when the swing begins. There's a straight cast. Apparently I, or that was the idea. Kind of a crooked cast. That one mended itself in the air. There's a fairly straight cast, but I need to mend that back in over like that. Now it's straight, now it can swing. There's another, another big mend, or medium mend, I guess. There's a good straight cast. So I'm, I'm, there's a big man, the back end of it anyway, not real big. But what I'm doing is stepping a few steps between each cast. Here should be a big man coming up to straighten that out. But I'm stepping down sometimes during the swing to give it a little more depth. And the fishier it is, the less steps I'll take. And right here, there's a little bow in there, but that's fine. You can't fiddle fart around with your line. I like to just leave it alone as much as possible, even though I've made some kind of late mends in this thing. So I'm going to strip in. There's a big mend. That's fairly straight, and I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to let it swing in. It might be swinging a little faster than I'd like, but with as rocky as it was towards a bank and as heavy as the sink tip was, I just let it go a little faster and lived with it. Straight cast. I really hope I don't mend this open. I do. That was a little late. Okie dokie. Single spay, boink. Pretty, it ended up fairly straight, ended the back end, rod tip pointed towards the other side. So I have a straight line as possible between my rod tip and my fly. Anyway, that's what I'm going with. And there's kind of what it looks like, swinging through the run out there. This is if for people who, who are maybe a little bit familiar with swinging but have a few questions, this basically is what it looks like when I fish a run, if that helps you get the idea. See, it just swings right through there. Everything stays straight. My rod tip could be out over the water more. That might slow it down, but I can live with this. I'm not super fussy. It's got to be fun for me. I'm not going to nitpick everything to death.
is a single spay that kind of self-mended itself. Kind of a short one. Might have been earlier on in the run. Skagit rig with a heavy sink tip. Worked good in this wind. It was causing me all kinds of grief. You see me ducking and stuff a few times. I tried to run through a really fishy run really slow, a step or two between casts. But if I'm not sure and I need to cover water and find fish, I might take several, several steps between casts and try to locate fish if I don't know where they are. So there's always that. You know, fish it real thorough. If you don't know there's fish there and you might be wasting time, but if you fish it too fast, you might be missing fish. So anyway, hope this helps.